Uh, George, we okay to launch? You're ready. All right, give me a countdown, Soph. to follow it though. Really? I mean, you obviously try, but... Well, Max, it's a big one. It's like you always done. Your small one. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm going to come down quite a bit lower. You're okay though so far for this? Yeah. Alright. Okay. So I'm going to bank and try to release. This is Frank Burke, and uh, today I've got out my upscale orbital transport. So this is based on the Estes kit that I loved when I was a kid that had kind of an SST lower half. Of course the wings were quite a bit smaller because it was just a rocket. And then the glider, which would slide off when the parachute would come out and it would free flight back around. So I've upscaled it quite a bit. This is 2.6 inch body tube, 42 inch wingspan, 6 feet long. Um, the whole thing weighs 32 ounces, ready to fly with an H13 motor that burns for about 16 or 17 seconds. Um, because it's RC and I want it to glide, I made the wing quite a bit bigger, moved it forward a little bit, but it's still got the uh, intakes on the bottom like the original. Um, the orbiter is a little undersized um, because for, uh, just for weight reasons, I didn't want to get much heavier than 32 ounces liftoff weight. Um, I've got a little... Uh, uh, capture mechanism on the bottom that uh, is, is run by the little push button here and um, it doesn't really want to pop off when I'm upright even though I have a little bit of a spring under it. Um, it, it tends to get stuck every once in a while so what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost up and then go inverted and I'm going to glide around inverted till I get about halfway down because it's so high at the top for the size of this you can't really see it. Um, so I'm going to come down about halfway, inverted, and then hit the button. It should just drop right off, and then I'll finish the loop and go back into glide. Um, I'll show you the uh, release of my lovely hand model so if you can catch this. I'm going to hit the button. That drops right off. And I got just a little bit of a ballpoint pen spring with a screw that holds it into the body to give it a little bit of spring so it can hopefully pop off a little more reliably. And it captures, it's a momentary release, so you hit the button and it pulls a pin and then it goes back forward again. And uh, we'll give it a flight. All right, this is a upscale orbital transport, but radio control glide on the booster. Uh, it's about six feet long, 42 inch wingspan, weighs 32 ounces with the glider. The glider's on an electronic release at the top. I'm going to go inverted and glide inverted for a while to help it pop off. I've got a little spring under the glider, but sometimes it doesn't pop off when you're right side up. So I'll glide it around about halfway till I'm a little lower because we got some wind. And it's flying on an Aerotech 29mm H13 long burn motor. Alright, taking off. Five. Four, three, two, one.
going to land right over your head, George. The big one's coming in over you. All right, taking off. Five, four, three, two, one. You okay, Max? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm upside down, holding forward pressure in the glide. Come around, turn and get a little bit upwind. Too lower, I won't be able to do the loop. Okay, releasing now. Release! Got it, Max? Mm hmm. All right. Okay, I'm coming around from the left. Almost in front of us. You good, Sophie? Yep. All right. Take it off. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm upside down. Okay, Mike? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so maybe if I can just glide around upside down, then I can finish the loop to drop. Taking off. Five, four, three, two, one. Try to judge how fast it's coming down. Okay, I'm going to release. Across 
still see itself? Nope, I just lost it, but I know it's one direction. Light is right in front of it. You got that? Yeah, I got both. Okay. 